I mean, it did have to be nice though, right? Like three and a half weeks out and you're back and it's a playoff, so I'm like, man, I'm sorry we're going to jump back in the lap. Definitely uh, super excited. Obviously, getting injured is not fun at all. I'm watching uh, from the inside, but uh, yeah, it was good to be back. Uh, it was a great game, and we're looking forward to game three. How would you describe your season? I think from the outside looking in, it's hard not to say frustrating just with the injuries. Yeah, for sure. I think that's a great definition, honestly. Had a lot of injuries this season. Uh, I felt like I've been playing good and then I get injured, which is always frustrating. And then obviously uh, watching is tough because it's just so nerve wracking. Uh, you just want to be a part of it and uh, I'm glad to be back. How nerve wracking is it that in the playoff game you come back, there's 8,000 people or as loud as can be, you're going to overtime. I mean, that's kind of everything you want in the postseason. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I was definitely a little nervous uh, first couple shifts and then I kind of settled in as the game went on and then. Obviously, anytime you go into overtime, it's always a little bit uh, nerve-wracking. But uh, overall, I thought it was a good game. You like playing with Sly Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I uh, thought we were just a uh, just physical line, trying to make it hard on their uh, D-men, breaking pucks out. Just tried to hold the puck in the O-zone as long as we could and try and build some momentum. Uh, this Thursday will be the first time you've been in Syracuse for a playoff game since Game five, which was a pretty big one. You had a pretty big moment in that game. Uh, what, are, what are the memories that stick out when you think about that um, one? Honestly, that game five, I've, I've never seen anything really quite like it. With all the uh, Amherst fans, it looked like we they took over Syracuse's building, basically, is what it looked like. But uh, yeah, that was an exciting game. Also went to overtime, which was yeah. nerve wracking, but came out in front, which was awesome. But uh, this year, I mean, different season, different different teams on both ends. So not really trying to think about the past as much, just more focused on the game at hand. It's game at hand, so one game, but there is a possibility this series could end in Syracuse on the last year. What do you guys, especially coming off game two, what do you think this team needs to do right to try and make that happen and make sure that you guys stay away from I think, uh, well, this season we've had some success in Syracuse as well. So, I mean, just trying to uh, weather the storm. They're going to come up with a lot of energy, uh, a lot of pace. So I think if we can just play good in the first 10 minutes, try and limit them to as little as possible, and then just keep playing the way we've been playing. I mean, uh, we're a good team. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in ourselves and belief in the room, so we know we can get it done. I know you don't like to look back on last year, too, you know it's last year, but does that give you some sort of just confidence walking into the building? Maybe, you know, just a feeling, a vibe when you go in there knowing you guys had that success last year in game five? Uh, I mean, obvious, honestly, we haven't really thought about it a whole too lot. Uh, we're just more focused for uh, that game on Thursday and getting prepared, prepared for that and trying to be ready and uh, hopefully come up with a win on Thursday. How do you kind of get some of the rookies ready for their first road playoff environment? Uh, I mean, they've been good since they've been here. Obviously, uh, Wally and Austi haven't been here that long, but uh, they had a big impact on the first game. So, I mean, they're fitting in well. Uh, they're good hockey players, so I trust them. Everyone trusts them, so we have a lot of belief in them as well. Your coach kind of talked about how those rookies have been hardened through this last couple months of the season, the adversity, things like that. Do you kind of agree that, you know, they kind of lost the, you know, the, the rookie-ness to them, I guess, this year? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's a long season. It's a grind. Uh, they've been good all season, uh, every one of them, and uh, especially the new guys coming in. Uh, they've helped us out a lot. and. Uh, they look like veterans out there. You know, first two games, you let a couple leads slip away. What's kind of the focus this week to try and make sure that that doesn't happen if you're presenting the opportunity? Yeah, I mean, uh, just try and watch video, try and uh, learn from our mistakes, and then obviously uh, they give up chances as well, so just try and capitalize on those uh, chances as much as possible.